hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about insert query in wordpress using wpdb class so when you can use wpdb class methods so when you have your custom table and you want to perform insert update delete process on custom table at that time you can use wpdb class method and uh, in this video we are going to talk about insert method so uh, in order to do that first let's create a custom table for our site so this is the site on which for which I'm gonna create a new custom table so this is the database for the site and I'm gonna create new table called WP BWP and number of columns let's say three as of now First will be the ID integer primary key auto index auto increment then first name last name worker length 255 255 and save it so our table is ready wp bwp and now we will be inserting data in this table using wpdb insert method so to insert data uh, using WPDB we have to use this insert method so um, for this site I have created a custom plugin and if you don't know how to create custom plugin I will provide link into the description section and uh, yeah this is my custom plugin uh, I'm using and I'm gonna add a code into this plugin so here this is my WordPress repo WP content plugin this is the plugin my plugin and I'm gonna open plugins main file And I will include one more file called WPDB methods.php and I will create that file inside includes folder. And now I will get rid of sidebar. and I will get rid of this file we don't need it so um, in order to show you how we can use insert method I'm going to use init action but you should use that wherever your requirement is but uh, here I am doing in the init method uh, init action just to sake of the showing how to do that so pwp insert sorry bwp wpdb methods
function. So whenever there is there is WPDB class and you want to use the class method first you have to take a global dollar WPDB this is the global object of this class WPDB class so you can access anywhere on the site um, and then using dollar WPDB insert then you can access the method of that class now insert method accepts three arguments out of which this one is an optional argument so we are not going to focus on this as of now so first argument is table so let's say we define table variable and our table name is wp underscore bwp where wp underscore is the prefix of the table so in order to access prefix we can use wpdb prefix and then our table name bwp so in this wpdb prefix we will get wp underscore now the second parameter is data so how we should pass data so we should pass data as an array format where key is oh sorry the key is this uh, table column name first name and value whatever we want to add so I'm gonna add twenty. then the last name WP so our both arguments are ready now we can use this inside this method so first is table and another one is data so what this will do is it will insert this data into this table so um, let's try to refresh this page just to make sure our code is executed I'm, I'm just echoing something and now let's try to refresh this Okay, it says data inserted. Let's try to check, refresh this. Okay, so there are multiple um, init functions. I mean init actions, sometimes called multiple times. So that's why it is 
insert it twice but uh, yeah let me try to add this into wp head again i'm just showing you in some random action just to show you how it works you should use uh, as per your requirement and uh, yeah so let me delete this data first because init action calls everywhere even if in the heartbeat so if while refreshing uh, if heartbeat was called so at that time that data also inserted into the database so i'm going to refresh this again now this time it is inserted only one first time one time only and uh, let me make little bit meaningful so let's say i want to insert only when i get this insert equal to one so i will get this query parameter from the url and i will check if Is, is empty then return so um, now let me delete this again and uh, let's try to refresh this without our parameter and uh, refresh this so no data inserted now let's pass this query parameter data is inserted data is inserted so yeah this is how you can use insert method from wpdb class to insert data this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys